pum 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 you are here for the Atomos update the 10.3 have no fear all right that was so lame let's get started hey guys i apologize oh i'm still rhyming by accident anyways this is the 10.3 Atomos ninja 5 update I will show you how to update your Atomos Ninja 5, as well as what changes come with the new update. So let's get started. We're gonna go to the computer. If you search on Google Atomos Ninja 5 firmware update and click on the first link, you will come to that page. You should download the firmware update and a zip file is going to be introduced to the page. You double click it and there is the file right here. Please just uh, hopefully your Atomos SSD card is not clustered with all this stuff. All you do is you drag it and drop it into the SSD. Now let's go from left to right. So we will start off by showing the legal. If you can see it um, is on the Atomo screens, it's more contrasty than it is on your recording device. That means because it has a limiter from 16 uh, to, I forgot the upper limit, but when you press the legal switch, it does show the full range from zero to uh, eight bit full. So I think that that's very cool if you do, do have that workflow, but I do not. I do not use S-Log, uh, so that is not my issue for now. Another thing that this uses is um, false color. False color is great for checking your skin tones. It, uh, this is perfect if you want to get the correct color temperature as well as getting your skin tones perfect. So for post uh, processing, it's much easier. Anyways, before it didn't have the grid here on the left, but now it does. Let's move forward. They have different framing uh, for they have additional new social media focused frame guides with action and graphic safe areas. This means that now if you are shooting for Instagram content, you have many more frames that are compatible with just that. One being the four by, um, that's not the newest one, the one by one. So this is a square aspect ratio, Instagram and Facebook. It's perfect one by one. This is the 4x5, which is my favorite. It's portrait vertical aspect ratio for Instagram only. I use this for all my video purposes because it gives you the maximum range of video. And having this while recording a model or an athlete helps a lot because you can keep them in frame and you can uh, dictate what is important and what is not. So having your framing correctly in camera is much more important than trying to do it afterwards. 16 by 9 is portrait vertical aspect ratio. Instagram stories, Instagram TV, and Snapchat. So if you do want to record for those devices, uh, this would be perfect for you because you can see exactly what portrait vertical aspect ratio looks like. 9 by 16. And finally, they have the grids, which is uh, providing the ability to utilize the rule of thirds theory for image composition. So normally, um, the rule of thirds is you put it here, you put it here, you put it here, and one of the third areas. But it's really awesome to have this because now you can frame your rule of thirds composition much better. Anyways, moving forward, they have new de-squeezing. So they have 1.8 and 1.5, 1.33, but this is for the Ultra Panavision 70 and Panavision Ultra Panatator lenses. So if you were wondering what those were for. Besides those things, um, they do come up with a couple of fixes. Improved uh, to Atom X SDI module, where for some SDI inputs would occasionally not lock. So, and now it does have that locking compatibility. And a refinement to Nikon raw image where in some instances, a blue pixel would appear in the last line of the frame. So they fixed that issue. Besides that, let's jump back into the regular video. 
All right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope I didn't freak you out with my dance moves. Boom, 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 boom. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, my God. Okay. I appreciate you so much. I hope you come back for more tutorials and have a good day. Stay safe. Um, eat healthy. You know, exercise a little bit. You should um, not fear too much. It weakens your immune system. And I hope the coronavirus does not get you. Besides that, thank you so much, and uh, have a nice day.